So then. Yes, so then. So Fred Goodwin has been stripped of his knighthood. Quite right too. He did, after all, cause the biggest loss in British business history. He caused the collapse of the Royal Bank of Scotland. And his knighthood was for services to banking. But more than one bank collapsed at the time. Yes. And there was also more than one knight on the board of the Royal Bank of Scotland. Really? Yes. The chairman of the board was a Sir Tom McKillop. Why didn't he lose his knighthood, then? Because he did not get it for services to banking. His background was in the chemical industry and he was knighted in 2002. Four years later he took early retirement and became chairman of the Royal Bank of Scotland. Why have someone from the chemical industry become chairman of the board of directors of a major bank? I do not precisely know. I guess it was so he could apply his extensive business expertise to help the bank grow and avoid hazards. But you said that this bank made the biggest loss in British business history, didn't you? Yes, I did. Sir Tom said he was very sorry about that. So he was not stripped of his knighthood because he said sorry. Fred Goodwin also said he was sorry. But Fred Goodwin was the chief executive officer of the Royal Bank of Scotland and the direction the bank took, with its aggressive acquisition policy was largely his. But he was on the board of the bank? Yes he was. And Sir Tom was also on the board, wasn't he? Why didn't Sir Tom make him change this policy? That is not clear. Perhaps it was because he did not have any banking qualifications. Did Fred Goodwin have any banking qualifications? No, he did not have any banking qualifications either. The chairman and chief executive of what was once the largest bank in Britain did not actually have any banking qualifications. But Royal Bank of Scotland was not the only bank that collapsed at the time. No, it was not. All of the major banks experienced bad losses. All but two of them had to get help from the taxpayer because they ran out of money. Were there any other people knighted for services to banking running those banks at the time? Almost. What do you mean, almost? There was Sir James Crosby, but he was not knighted for services to banking like Fred Goodwin had been. Instead it was for services to the finance industry. And also he left the position of chief executive of his bank HBOS over two years before it nearly collapsed and had to be rescued. So why do you say almost, then? Well, sometime before he left the bank, Sir James made aware by his head of group regulatory risk, who warned him that rapid growth left it vulnerable to a large number of borrower defaults. What did he do about the warning? Sir James fired the man. You see. The bank's lending strategy had been given a clean bill of health by a top firm of accountants in the Financial Services Authority. The man was replaced by a new group risk director who had never carried out a role as a risk manager of any type before. The individual concerned had primarily been a sales manager. And where did Sir James go after he left the bank? He went to work for the Financial Services Authority. As their deputy chairman, but he had been a non-executive director of the Financial Services Authority while he was still at the bank. This man that Sir James fired, did he tell anyone about his concerns? No he did not. Why? Because he was paid not to as part of his out-of-court settlement for the dismissal. So how do we know all this now? There was a loophole in the settlement. He could still keep the settlement money if he gave a statement to a select committee at Parliament. So that is what he did. So what happened? Sir James resigned his post at the Financial Services Authority as soon as this testimony came into the public domain. He said he did not wish to become a distraction but insisted that there was no merit to the claims. But wait a minute, was Sir James working for the Financial Services Authority when his bank got a clean bill of health? Yes, he was. But there is no suggestion of impropriety. And what happened to the bank? It had to be rescued because it lost so much money on risky loans. By the taxpayer? Yes. By the taxpayer, costing several billions of pounds. But don't worry. About what? Sir James still has his knighthood.